This is Sean. He's got a secret and it's hidden inside this red bag. Is he the president of an international vampire club? Is he the president of an orgy club? Or is he the president of a Justin Bieber fan club? We'll unlock this bag and a whole lot more coming up in a special episode of Baggage. Hi, I'm Jerry Springer and welcome to a special episode of Baggage. Now today, we've got some super hot cougars who are looking for the chance to sink their claws into a young dater who loves being bored. Right now, let's meet our eligible cub. He's a finished goods buyer from Rancho Cucamonga, California. Please welcome Sean. You are interested in older women, right? Yeah. Why is that? Um, looking for an older lady. I think they're a little more independent, uh, yeah. self-confident, yeah. and um, generally, in my experience, in the bedroom, they're a lot more open-minded. Yeah. Sean, we've got three fascinating felines, but like all of us, they've got some baggage. Ready to meet them? Absolutely, let's, let's do, it. do it. She's a roaring realtor from Valley Glen, California. Say hello to Melinda. I'm a cougar that loves to work hard and play hard. She's an agile administrative assistant from San Juan Capistrano, California. Give it up for Jeanette. I haven't found a cub yet that can pull the cougar out of me, but I think you might be the one. She's a growling reporter from Vancouver, British Columbia. Please welcome Kelsa. Hi, Sean. I'm a loyal and passionate cougar. Three beautiful women, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, but as you can see, they each bore three pieces of baggage. Ladies, it is time to reveal your smallest piece of baggage. Melinda. I spoon with my chihuahua every night. It's a little intimidating knowing that there's another dog in the bedroom. Jeanette. I must scrub my feet raw before bed. Man, every day. Well, in truth, it is about hygiene. And so if I put lotion on them every night, which I do, it's kind of a ritual. I like my feet clean. Kelsa. I have not shaved my legs in four years. It's not like I need to. Sean, it's time for the deal break around, and that means revealing another salacious secret. Bag number one. I got a ticket for sexual bribery. You blow into the breathalyzer. <laughs> Bag number two. I see a spiritual guru twice a week. She's already cheating. Bag number three. I only have a seventh grade education. One at a time, you tell me what your concerns are. I only have a seventh grade education. What is your concern there? I have a feeling it would be tough to uh, keep a conversation, much less introduce a woman to my friends that might not make it through eighth grade. I see a spiritual guru twice a week. It's a little troubling to know that a girl has to see someone twice a week to get guidance. Which of these is your deal breaker? My deal breaker is the cougar who only has a seventh grade education. Whoa! Ladies, it is time to claim your baggage. Oh! Whoa! Kelser, is there anything you'd like to say? While I may only have a grade seventh education as far as schooling goes, I've got a lot more education in some other areas, Sean. We have two women that remain. We've got Jeanette, who sees a spiritual guru twice a week. Plus, we got Melinda, who got a ticket for sexual bribery. <laughs> Ladies, please join us over on the hot seat. Now, Melinda got a ticket for sexual bribery. Jeanette, your thoughts about that? I just can't imagine taking the chance of going to jail. He must have been really hot. That's all I can say. Well, Jeanette sees a spiritual guru twice a week. Melinda, what are your thoughts about that? I was brought up that I don't really believe in anything like that, to each his own. But uh, 
I just don't believe in it. It's, oh. it's meditative. Like, you know, people do yoga. I want to learn the art of meditation. Please step into the hot spot. Sean was born in the 80s. What song from that decade best describes your dating style? Queen of Hearts, part-time lover, or man-eater? <laughs> I'd have to say man-eater. <laughs> How do you keep young at heart? I love to do yoga, and I love the skinny dip. What fact about you could Sean impress his friends with? I was Miss Budweiser 2000, so I got to travel all around the world. Um, the skinny dipping is definitely intriguing. Jeanette, please step into the hot spot. Which to me more movie best describes your love life? Strip tease, a few good men, or ghost? A few good men. Sean loves the outdoors. Where would you take him for an outdoor date? To the mountains, by a stream, something picturesque. What's the most impressive thing on your resume? I worked for a large financial firm as a personal assistant to the vice president. The fact that you like to be active is definitely a plus. Mm. I like that. Ladies, it is time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. Melinda. Whoa. Melinda, uh, are you separated? It seems like a huge thing. Well, I actually, mean... I'm just lazy. The paperwork's been signed. It's in the closet. I just, and it's, I just haven't taken it down to the courthouse. Jeanette, please reveal your baggage. I have a 30-year-old daughter and three <laughs> grandchildren. <laughs> Never been younger than someone's daughter and been dating them. I married my high school sweetheart. He was yeah. my first love, and we had a beautiful daughter right out of high school. It is time to choose. I'm sorry, Melinda, you have too much baggage. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry, Melinda, but it is time to pack up and go. Thank you. Sorry, Sean, we could have had a lot of fun. Oh. Way to go, Jeanette and Sean! But it's not over yet. Jeanette has to decide if she wants to be with him after seeing his big baggage. Sean has just chosen the lovely Jeanette here for a nice date, but the roles are reversed, and now it's her decision. What's the secret in Sean's big red bag? Yeah. Is he the president of an international vampire club? Is he the president of an orgy club? Or is he the president of the Justin Bieber fan club? Jeanette, what of these possibilities would be the toughest piece of baggage for you to handle? The orgy club. The orgy club. Mm-hmm. I don't share. It is now time to reveal your baggage. I'm the president of an orgy club. Oh. Oh. How do you get to be the president? What is that about? What are you doing? It started out a few years back as a group of casual friends. We go on cruises and whatnot. It just turned into more than that. I don't share. This is a difficult decision for me. Maybe you could kind of look at him and Honestly, his term is going to expire. Uh, so if you want to get him before he's an ex-president... <laughs> Jeanette, can you accept his baggage? I can accept your baggage. Whoa! Adventure through the vineyards of Santa Barbara. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. 